Hey everybody, this is Dr. Hayden. During this time of COVID-19, while we have some downtime, I thought I would take a minute and explain to my patients what we do in the practice to increase our social distancing during the eye exam. There are four things that I have thought about in the last week that most optometrists don't have with technology in their office that we do. The first of which is called the four-opter. The four-opter is the lens is the machine where all the lenses are, where we calibrate and calculate your prescription. So if you remember with older eye exams, if you're, if you're a patient of mine, that we used to have the machine up here with all the lenses and we would sit here and ask you which is clearer, one or two, and I was this far away from you. Now, everything is done while I sit here and I can change the prescription not only faster and more accurately, but at a much safer distance from the patient if either, either person has anything that we want to keep away from the other. Secondly, something called direct ophthalmoscopy. And this is a direct ophthalmoscope. We've seen this for years in optometry, probably well over 100. And when we're using it, we're looking at the back of the eye through the pupil. But in order to get a good view, you have to have this right up against the patient's cheek and you are right up on top of them. And it's incredibly close, uncomfortable for some. And now we have a different form of technology that allows us to see the retina while I am this far away from the patient, at least 10 feet, and that's our OptoMap. And our OptoMap allows us to see the whole retina not just the optic nerve and the macula as we would with the direct ophthalmoscope, but to be able to see 85% of the retina. Even a dilated exam can't get that far out. So that's the second piece of technology that we have that has allowed us to increase the space between the doctor and the patient. Thirdly, is our slit lamp exam, where we look at the front of the eye. And this is kind of crazy that this piece of technology, and we call it a piece of technology, it's a piece of mylar, that we now have placed on here between the doctor and the patient as a breath protector so that when I'm speaking, um, the patient, A, um, won't have any issue with anything if I'm not feeling well or if they're not feeling well, and B, um, God forbid one of us has bad breath and the other one has to worry about that. So that's um, something we've installed in the last two weeks in both exam rooms. And um, it's brilliant. I don't know why we haven't thought of that before. Our fourth piece of technology is an anterior segment camera, which you will recognize as an iPhone. And we use it to take pictures of the front of the eye, video of the front of the eye. If somebody had a piece of metal in their eye and we were removing it, I usually will use the video to um, document the, the um, way in which we get the metal out of the eye. So today, our patient that we're gonna look at is Dr. Einstein. And Dr. Einstein is sitting at our slit lamp and we're looking at his eye. And now I can view his eye Looks like he has a corneal abrasion or an ulcer, but I can view it at that much greater of a distance. Of course, without having to hold him, I could be back here. Again, almost doubling the space with the breath protector to keep us safe from each other. Going forward, this is exactly how things in optometry are gonna be. We're gonna be thinking a lot more along these lines. Um, I wanna thank you for taking two minutes of your time to watch that and stay safe, stay healthy, and I hope to see you soon. Thank you.